What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Now today we're gonna to be talking about how to be attractive even if you're nervous. Guys tell me all the time, they tell me, hey, I walk up to women and I'm nervous, how do I get rid of this, blah, 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 blah. And you know, being nervous is not, if you could be confident all the time, that would be great, but it's not always feasible, okay? There are gonna be times where you walk up and you're nervous. I'm a perfect example of this, you guys. Like, I get nervous talking to people all the time, okay? Definitely not as much as I used to. In fact, I'd say probably <laughs> more often than not, I'm not getting nervous. But there are times, especially, you know, when I was filming footage for the Practical Approaching System. You know, I was walking on the beaches of Santa Monica just talking to random girls and I hadn't gone out in six months to do that so because of quarantine and everything so I was very very nervous so what are some things that I did during that time to still be successful you know I still ended up getting tons of phone numbers and I ended up having like eight girls coming back to my hotel room that night and two of them were models how did I end up doing this even though I was nervous so I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did this even though I was feeling um, experiencing bad emotions, how to get over them, and how to still be attractive in those environments. I'm gonna give you some practical tips and some like kind of like mental stuff that you guys can do to help out with this, okay? So let's get right into the video. The first thing that I would say about nervous guys is that nervous guys, when they look unattractive, it's because they're kind of twitching or they're moving or they're looking down or they don't commit to what they're doing. When you're talking to a girl, or when you're approaching somebody, or when you're doing an activity, even if you're nervous, I don't care how you're feeling inside, do it 100%. Don't half-ass it. Just say, oh, I'm nervous, I'm gonna only kinda wave to her. A kind of wave, you might as well not have waved at all. You go all in or not at all, okay? And women can sense this, the hesitation that comes along with it, the uh, <laughs> that kind of thing, it really creeps them out. They're not into it at all. It doesn't look attractive, okay? But what does look attractive is a guy showing courage. So what I invite you guys to do is not try to make yourself feel the absence of fear, is deal with the fear. One of the pillars of being a man is being, cur being courageous, okay? Men have to show courage. There are gonna be times where you're scared and that's okay, but what's not okay is letting the fear control you, okay? So if you're nervous, be nervous. It's okay, man. There's nothing wrong with being nervous, all right? When I'm nervous, I tell myself, huh, I'm nervous. I'm gonna walk up there and see what happens, okay? I'm okay with the fear. I'm okay if she walks away or ignores me. I'm okay if I have a bad interaction. What I am not okay with is I am not okay with me not taking action just because I was a little nervous, just because I was scared. And I know for some of you, you kind of get that gripping, that, that, that fear that takes over your body where you're just so nervous where you can't even make a move. Do what you can in those circumstances. If I'm in that position, I do what I can. If I'm too scared to have a conversation with a girl, I'll wave. If I'm too scared to wave, I'll smile. If I'm too scared to smile, I'll look up and try and make eye contact. Do what you can in that period of time and work with what you got, okay? Now, the other thing that I would recommend as well too is that nervous guys, when they hesitate and they move, they kind of twitch. Okay, try and reduce the amount of extraneous movements to your character. If you're just, if you're standing there and you're doing like weird, like itching things that don't really make any sense, that's signs of uh, not just nervousness, but insecurity, okay? So if I'm nervous, I just take a deep breath. <sighs> breathe it out and just be cool for a while. Don't move around a whole lot. If your heart's beating, your heart's beating, it's okay. Part of courage is learning to deal with the fear that you're experiencing, but not letting it affect your actions, okay? So if you're a guy who's nervous, it does not prevent you from being attractive. What prevents you from being attractive is not exercising the courage. Women actually think it's kind of cute when a guy gets nervous and talks to them. Even though I walk up and like I seem really confident, I tell the girls later like, yeah, I was super nervous to talk to you. You were really pretty. And they're like, oh, that's so sweet. Like you seem so confident, I had no idea. It's because I used courage. I didn't move around a whole lot when I was talking to them. Like some guys are twitching. I just kind of stay there and concentrate on not moving a whole lot. And then when I do move, I kind of use my hands, but I keep my feet planted and you know, my shoulders relatively uh, secure. So all of that stuff can help. Um, but I would say the biggest thing is what I had talked about earlier, which is, look dude, sometimes I walk up and I really don't want to do it. Sometimes I'm shaking. Sometimes I'm like, I'm feeling actually quite ill and sick before I do something. So I concentrate on the things that I can do and I do them 100%. 
not 98, not 99, not 99.5. I do it 100%. And by the end of the day, there's times where I'm literally just like high-fiving girls, bringing them in, giving them a little hug. And then you can get a, if you're in like a festival or if you're in like kind of a crazy environment, you can get a quick make out too. Like there's a lot of things that you can do. I don't do that as much as I used to. <laughs> but you know, when I was like in my early twenties, yeah, I would do that shit all the time. And, but I would work up to that. I would get to the point where I could do that sort of stuff. And yeah, sure. At the beginning, I was very, very nervous to do it. So don't focus on things too far into the distance. Focus on what you can do now and don't let your nerves and your fear control what happens to you. I remember there was another time, like, I'll give you an example about where I had to exercise, uh, you know, uh, fear or get over my nerves right, uh, right then and there. Um, I was at a restaurant and there was a very, very pretty girl ahead of me and I was just by myself and I hadn't talked to anyone all day. I had been working and I just started and I was like, dude, you should say something like she's really pretty. And I was like starting to get nervous and I was like, oh, I don't know, like started ruminating all of these things in my head. And I was like, all right, what can you do right now? Just what can you do? Anything. Just say hi. So I was like, hi. And then I went like this. <laughs> okay. And then I was like, okay, cool. All right. Now, uh, now ask her where she's from. Hey, where are you? Uh, where are you from? Are you from the area? Oh, okay, cool. Nice. I'm from, uh, I'm from, I'm from the area as well too. All right. Now ask her what she's up to. Are you just ordering or are you just waiting here for somebody? Oh, okay, cool. You're waiting here to order somebody. Yeah, I'm actually waiting to order food. I really like this place. And then we started to talk, okay? I did the things that I could do. Didn't move around a whole lot. Didn't, didn't psych myself out. Didn't let the fear control me. I used courage. And yeah, did I look a little nervous at the beginning? Yes, but that's okay. What's not okay is letting this fear dictate you and your life and never taking opportunities because you're scared. Any opportunity worth taking should involve a little bit of fear. Any challenge worth embarking on, you should be a little nervous for. Anything that's gonna help you improve is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable at the beginning, okay? This is part of life. Learning to manage this discomfort, learning to deal with it will make you successful, not just with women, but in life in general. And the crazy part is women recognize this and they know that, uh, that it's part of the game. And so that's why I think, in my opinion, um, them feeling a little, you're, you feeling a little nervous a lot of times they'll think is cute. Um, and if you do it in the right way as opposed to half-assing it or hesitating and you embody the, the fear and the nervousness and just go out there and be courageous, you know, they, they find it flattering. They find it to be a compliment, okay? So being nervous isn't the problem. It's not having courage that's the issue. So I invite you to be courageous, you guys. All right, cool. Well, this is something that I teach guys in my programs all the time. So if you're interested to get coached by me personally, there's a form down below. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there. <laughs>